Hey, welcome back to Random American. First time here, welcome around. Uh, today, if you had wiring harness on your Random American bingo, well, guess what? You'd be right, and you'd be just as surprised as me. So, we're gonna take this here and this pile of spaghetti and turn it into something. So, if you want to see how to uh, mistreat your wiring harness and maybe cut it yourself, stick on around and we'll get her done. Alright, so we're getting the wiring harness cut and it is not nearly as bad as you might think. So, I've done a lot of research on this and basically, all you do from everything I'm seeing from everybody is we're going to take off all of our wiring loom. We have everything plugged in where it needs to be. And then whatever's left, you just take that out. We're going to go ahead and deep pin everything the correct way. We're going to uh, we're going to go through here and keep everything that factory had on it as far as making the engine run. We're still going to have knock sensors. We'll still have oil level sensors. We'll still have everything. Should have everything. Uh, I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to go mechanical for my oil pressure, for my coolant temp, and stuff like that. But I still want the ECM to be able to read that. So I'm going to have working check engine light with any luck. I'll have a working OBD2 port with any luck and everything should work the way it would in the truck. So I'm gonna bring you in here and I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm gonna do and what I was explained to do and where we're gonna start and how I'm gonna route it all and we'll get into the weeds on it a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start in here real simple like uh, previous owner had the AC bypassed, which is awesome. At least I think this is AC. It didn't plug into anything on here. So we're gonna roll with it. Right here is my little harness for my knock sensors. I do know I'm gonna have to take this back off, put my knock sensors in, put the new harness in. But for right now, this is just fine. And I was rolling fat and happy whenever we ended the last one. So what I'm gonna do, I'll take out my pocket knife. I'm not even gonna try and do that. So I'm gonna cut this, staying out of your way. And we'll go, we'll go and we'll pull this loom back, this wire loom. I'll take that one off too, because I'm gonna need to. And we're not getting fancy with any of this. It's not like we're trying to go to SEMA. I just want this thing to roll down the road reliably. Ah, I see what they did. All right, now this loom just pulls straight off. No tricks to the trade on it, no, no nothing. And what I want you to focus on when you're doing your wiring harness this is a bunch of spaghetti, right? It's a whole bunch of crap. None of that matters. None of it. The only thing that matters is the two wires that you are currently working with. Two wires and a plug. And if you want to, if you know exactly where these wires go, you have them labeled, you know where they're gonna end up, you can just cut this, take all your loom and your tape off, and just pull it straight through. But that's not what we're doing. We're gonna go through this process a little bit more difficult. Well, not difficult, but time consuming. You'll get all this separated. GM must really like to use electrical tape, Jesus. Cut on these real careful. Okay, so we got our two wires right here, right? You're just gonna keep following this back. Keep following it back. I'll get it later. And you're gonna do this little song and dance all the way until we get to where we're going. So I'll bring you in right whenever that happens so you don't have to watch me 
tear all this down and we'll get back to it. Alrighty, now I got this wire right here traced all the way to where it goes. So I imagine this side is just a ground. I'll go ahead and follow the rest of this side over here, make sure, but it's tied into the bunch of them. Now this one over here, see I can pull it through. I can keep coming down through here. Let me start all over. Yep. I can keep pulling it through right there. I can keep pulling it right here. I can see that it's this wire right here. Just follow it all the way down. Let me hold this here. Follow it all the way down to this plug. So I did cheat a little bit and I verified what I was told. I'll get this ECM off of here. But I verified what I was told and you just pop. Oh, yeah. My knife. Just pop this off of here, both sides. Nice little knife holder up there. Take this out, set it to the side, and you'll get this blue wire right here, and you'll just pull it straight out. Now, if it's gonna give you a really hard pull, then don't, obviously don't yank on it. And that hole right there will open up all of this in here, which I'll take care of that later. I'll probably fill that with dielectric grease or something so I can still use that. And then you just get this and you pull it right on out. Just keep on coming with it. And you got it all the way over here to this plug. You have a usable plug for you. And again, I'm gonna verify that this is just a ground whenever I do. I'm just gonna clip that off right there. Everything's good. This will go into a little bag and we're fine. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna identify all these ones that I'm not gonna use. Mostly they are on that side of the engine going towards the back. Like over here, this is all my transmission stuff. Uh, this will come off of here, this will come off here. This is an O2 sensor, I do know that. And this is my neutral safety switch for the transmission. It looks a little bit rough, but we'll see if it still works. If not, I'll get another one. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is my input speed sensor. And that's my output speed sensor. But I will double verify that on the transmission over here. This one will come out of here. I'm not sure what it was for, but it's not going to stay. And that's pretty much the, the basics of it. Whoever is selling tape to General Motors, you guys are making a fortune. Uh, this stuff here doesn't go anywhere as far as I know, so these will be taken out. And I'll give you some more tips and whatnot on the way, but I'm going to get back to it. And I'll show you how I plan on routing all of this and how I plan on keeping it together. Okay, so I have come up to my first piece of wiring harness that has come into my fuse panel block, right? And getting these out is super easy. I've got this one traced all the way up to this far corner one. All you do is you get a little pick, come in here, this thing might be a little stubborn, but that, that will pull completely out. And you come in here, and you can look in here, and it has little tabs that come over, almost like the uh, uh, tab on a uh, zip tie. So you come in here through the top, and you just shove down through behind it, and you hold that, and it pulls right out. And that's all the more there is to these. And then this one, same thing comes out right over here. This one, I'm not sure where it goes. I haven't traced it that far. All right, this next one will go down here into the ECM, best I can see. And whenever we get down there, I'll show you how to get your pins out of that. And of course, you can cut these out. Uh, there's another way to get them out through here once you pull this 
out. I think you can cut it and shove it through, but I'm trying to save these as much as I can. I'll have a good connector, a good spot for my fuse panel or fuse box and all that. So we're gonna just hang on to these best I can. I'll do a little bit extra work now and uh, save myself something later maybe. Okay, so I have this traced all the way to this side of the ECM, which I just went in here. I marked the B for bottom. That one's the top. It says just like that. You have a bolt there in the center. You unscrew it. This pops out. Same as nothing. So I was trying to, once again, cheat a little bit and get this partially undone. But this is so, as you can see, it's dirtier than hell. It's so full of crap that I'm breaking a lot of it. I'm trying not to. But how you get these out on one that's clean is you get a pick or a teeny tiny little screwdriver or something. You shove it in there and then you pry that up. And that'll come out. I'm probably just gonna have to cut it because it's so full of stuff that there's no way I'm getting that back out of there. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. There we go. Got that one cut. That one actually came out. And you have ones in the center that just pull up, as far as I know. Well, I guess they do the same same thing. But either way, this is so full of crap, there's no way I was going to get that out of there. I'll figure out something for it. So I got this set up in here. And I've got this one isolated. And I should be able very delicately get this side shoved in while I pull that up yep then the same thing over here get this side shoved in and pull that up and there you go you've got the thing that's really holding these in there get back to this it's this one right here into this little pick again. And that should be it, because I can shove it out. Okay, yep, I just had to get it moving first. And then you have that pulled out. Same thing here is I'm going to dye electric grease this and I'm probably going to try and find a place to put this that I don't have to worry about the seal on it and it'll just stay dry all the time. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on, make sure this is the right side. Yep. Go ahead and put this back on. So it's oriented the exact same. There's no questions about it. I'm trying to keep some of the dirt out of here. But that's the basic idea of this side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this cleaned up and organized. And I'll show you how I'm going to route all this and if anything else comes up that's gonna tickle your fancy or my fancy I'll let you know. Well I have it all cut and whatnot. Here's the extra wires that I had. Uh, I would have had an extra plug but I'm gonna use that to connect into a, a working OBD2 maybe. So yeah, hopefully we can get that going. Uh, here is what it looks like as of right now. I know it still looks like spaghetti noodle mess, but 
really it's not it's not as bad as it looks. Everything's pretty well sorted where it's going to be. I have some things plugged in for reference. So, I made a lot more work for myself with this than what you would have to, cutting your own harness. Realistically, this has taken me, I don't know, four days or so, five days, maybe longer, just after work, working on a few hours every day. Because what I'm trying to do is run the harness back here and along the firewall. Now what you can do is run everything in the exact factory location that comes up and over the top right here and then over to your uh, radiator cradle and that'll work just fine. Uh, I just decided to be adventurous and see if I could reorganize everything make it look cleaner and it doesn't look like it now but I promise it will. Uh, I depend every single one of these on the ECU and a bunch of them on the fuse blocks. Hopefully I put those back in the right spot, but I'm gonna double check probably. And hopefully this thing will start whenever we're done. But that's all there really is to it as far as cutting your own harness. It's as simple as hook up everything to it that is already on it. Uh, don't forget your knock sensors, don't forget your um, oil level sensor, all, all that stuff, all, all your basic sensors and stuff that makes it work. Just plug it in and take away what's not there. The only thing I really needed to show you on this one was how to uh, deep in these, which is just as simple as two little clips on the sides, pull that off, um, shove your pin up just a little bit. You can either use your straight pick to pull the uh, pin back just a little bit and then you have to actually hold the white tab over just a hair and it'll shove right through. Your fuse box stuff is uh, a lot easier. Now the next thing I'm doing to torture myself is all this crap because I'm rewiring the inside of the truck. Most of this will be gone because uh, like everything connected to that will be gone. Everything connected to that will be gone. And and then here's stuff for my brakes and all that. Oh, one thing you have to remember. The alternator is going to be up here. Uh, don't depend that. I did that and now I have to reconnect it. And I have to reconnect a uh, pin for my tachometer. But other than that, she's good. I'm going to get to working on that. And I will see you real soon. Have a good one, guys.